Hey everybody, I'm going to be doing another Adventures in Cooking video for you guys. This is going to be cheeseburger sliders, a different take on them. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to start by sauteing these onions right here. I just went ahead and chopped them up for the sake of time. I've got some olive oil in the anyway, pan. so I'm sauteing these onions. I've got the stove on between 7 and 8, and then... I've got my oven preheated to 375. I just went ahead and got that done. So after the onions are done, I'm going to brown the ground chuck. And I'm probably going to use half a pound or so. I separated a package out and just put it in a, like a plastic zip bag and then froze it to be used when I was ready to use it. So I'm going to let those just continue to saute and then I'll come back to you. So these are almost finished sauteing. I'm going to take these out and just put them in a little bowl um, to set them aside until my meat is ready to add them back in. So when I put the meat in here, once it's brown, I'm going to set, start adding the ingredients and then once all that is done, we can I can start building the sliders. So I will use the same pan to put my meat back in. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this light back on so I can see a little bit better. And then take the onions and put them in a bowl. So I'm going to go ahead and add my meat now. I'm just going to use the same pan. I had split a pretty big pack of meat up. Some of this is actually still frozen. So I tried to get it to thaw before I started this, but not. it's still a little bit frozen. But that's okay. It'll thaw in the pan. So I'm just going to start breaking it up a little bit. The meat has browned and I have drained it. So now I'm going to add my onions back to it and then my garlic, some tomatoes, and some tomato paste. So there and goes my onions. I just had them in this bowl. Get them all, oops, sorry for the scraping. And this is my um, tomatoes right here. I've got um, this tomato paste, it's just in this tube, and I'm going to go ahead and put some garlic in. There is my garlic paste, what it ended up looking like. So I'm going to put maybe that much of garlic in, depending on how much you're cooking will depend on how much you want to add. I'm going to let this cook around a little bit first before I add the tomatoes and the tomato paste in. I just want to kind of get that um, flavor all mixed in with this stuff. I'm going to add some tomato paste now. And just kind of eyeball it. It doesn't really matter how much you add. Just add whatever you think. Mix this in. And I'll probably add a little bit of salt as well. I'm going to add my tomatoes in next, and I've got about half a can of diced tomatoes right here. They were used, you know, the other half was used for something else, so I just put them in this bowl. They have been drained pretty much. I don't want a lot of that liquid from them in there. I'm going to go ahead and add some salt right now. Make sure you taste your food and see how much you're going to need. So I've just got this Himalayan pink salt. I thought I would use that just a little bit. Stir it around. See what you think, then taste it again. You don't want to over salt, or, but also you don't want to under salt it either. Next, I'm going to make the sauce for this. I've got about two and a half tablespoons of butter. I've got a tablespoon of brown sugar. And then I'm going to take about a tablespoon of, I always mess this word up, Worcestershire sauce. Some people I think say Worcester, but I think it's Worcestershire. I don't know. It's hard for me to say. So I'm just going to do about a tablespoon of this, and then I'm going to put it in the microwave and melt the butter. And this is going to be the sauce I'm going to pour over the sliders. I am getting ready to assemble these little sliders. So I've got these rolls right here. There's four in this little pack. Buy as many or as little as you want. So I'm just going to open these up, cut them in half, and I may just do two for now because this is just for me. I'm not making for a lot of people. I've got some grated uh, white cheddar right there, and then I've got a couple slices of mild cheddar cheese. So I'm going to go ahead and start assembling these. And I decided to go ahead and do all four of them just because it fits in the pan so much better. So there they are. Next, I'm going to spoon some meat mixture into 
uh, that and it doesn't matter if it's neat or not just kind of put it on there so I think these are a combination of almost sloppy Joe like uh, and then sliders So that's about good enough right there. I'm going to add the grated white cheddar next. And then I'm going to add a couple slices of cheese of this mild cheddar cheese, use sharp cheddar, whatever you want. Then I'm going to replace the tops of these back on. That one got a little bit taken off of it. Okay, kind of like that. They're not going to be the prettiest things, but they're going to be so tasty. And if I don't use all of my sauce, so here's my sauce right here. I'm going to pour this over it, and I don't know that I'll need all of it, so you can just probably, if you want, to save some of this, but I may end up using it. Yeah, I think I will. And then I'm going to bake them for about 20 minutes. I just got these out of the oven so this is what they look like it's still in the pan and then I'm going to attempt to get one of these out it's going to look really messy as I'm trying to do this so please forgive me but there we go oops there we go <laughs> I think I got that off camera sorry about that but there it is and so this is something you would definitely want to eat with like a knife and fork but um, they are so, so tasty. I know it's not the most beautiful piece of food you've ever seen, but they taste so good. Definitely give these a try. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye, everybody.